I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and today I am unboxing the Fitbit Charge 5 tracker. So I'm really excited to be testing this out. I've been using Fitbits since the OG Fitbit back in, uh, I think, 2009. And it was like a little paper clip that you would wear on your waist. Um, and this is the most advanced fitness tracking band that they've ever developed. Um, so this basically takes a lot of the features that you would have on the Fitbit Sense, which is their high-end um, tracking watch that has apps and that kind of thing on it and puts a lot of those same sensors like a stress sensor into a more standard sort of band uh, design instead of that smartwatch design. And um, honestly, I've always preferred their fitness tracking to their apps anyway, so I'm really excited to test this out and uh, see how it does. So we've got the, um, the first box here. I just opened a little plastic uh, sleeve on the bottom, and then um, we've got the Fitbit logo and this nice interior box here. Let's pop this open. Um, and there is the tracker there. This is the Charge 5. Um, so this is uh, later generations. Go ahead and uh, there's a little arrow. We're going to pop this out. And um, we've got the actual tracker in here. So slimmer, sleeker type of design versus the uh, Fitbit Sense, but a little bit more functionality with those extra sensors versus the Luke's, which is the other kind of uh, wristband style one out there. So I'm gonna take this protective cover off and we've got our little screen, we've got our little, um, looks like capacitive buttons on the side here. Um, so that'll be easy to push and uh, you don't have any physical uh, buttons. These are called solid state buttons. So you don't have any physical buttons to wear out. Um, we've got the band on here. I'm gonna open it up. It looks like basically the same band as on the Sense, maybe just a little bit thinner. Um, and then you can see we've got all the sensors and contacts and everything on the bottom of the watch there. Um, next step, we've got another little arrow directing us what to do inside of the box here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Um, and we've got two sides to this. It says power and style. It's very uh, uh, dramatic um, way to put it, but uh, let me go ahead and take the power side out here. Um, and I'm gonna just give this a solid shake. It looks like this is a little bit stuck inside. There we go. Um, this is the charging cord. So Fitbit tends to come up with their own chargers for every single one of their devices. And this is clearly uh, uh, no exception to that. Um, so this is just the magnetic charger. You can see the little ports on the back of the, uh, of the band there. This is gonna snap on and then we would plug this, oops, keep that on. Um, plug this into a USB port to charge it up. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward procedure for charging there. And then style, um, what we've got in style is another replacement band. So uh, if this one were, were to break, um, we could put this in. And this is also a large band. It probably comes with, looks like a small band uh, stock fitted onto that. If you have a bigger wrist, then you have this large band. I keep these, I usually keep it on the small setting. I wear it, if this wears out, I'll pop in the large one and I'll just cinch it down a little bit further and just treat this like a bonus extra band for if you uh, break this over time. Uh, so that is the uh, the Charge 5. You've got the EDA sensor, which is a, a uh, uh, electrodermal activity sensor that measures your body's um, uh, electrical levels and um, that can help to take a stress reading on the front. It's got a, a FDA approved ECG reading in there as well, built in GPS um, and it's also got SpO2 to monitor your oxygen levels overnight. So it's really got the full suite of sensors. The only thing that differentiates it from the sense um, again is that it's uh, not that smartwatch format with the big screen and all the apps and everything. Um, so I'm really excited to use this, the Charge 5. Our next step with um, setting this up will be to charge it to 100%, um, pun definitely intended. Download the Fitbit app, sync it up in there, and uh, be good to go and start wearing this. So that's the Fitbit Charge 5. I'm getting excited to start to use this new fitness tracker.